Welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we will see how we can write a C++ program to find out the area and the perimeter of a rectangle when we have length and width values are available. So if we have length and width of the rectangle available, then we can find out the area of the rectangle by using the formula area equal to length multiplied by width and we can find out the perimeter of the rectangle by using the formula perimeter equal to length plus width and whatever the result that we get we have to multiply that by 2. So in this tutorial what we can do is we can ask the user to enter the length and width of the rectangle then we will calculate the area and perimeter of the rectangle by using these two formulas and we will display the result. So what I have done here is I have included the iostream header file to this program and then I have written using namespace std which allow us to use the components which are defined inside the std namespace without using the namespace name. Okay. After that we have the main function which will be the entry point of our program from our perspective. So the first thing that we do here is we will uh, declare the variables that we need. In this program, we will ask the user to enter the length and width of the rectangle. So to store those values, we need a couple of variables. I'm going to take double type and uh, I'm going to call the variables as length and width. And after that, we will be calculating the area and perimeter. So to store those values, we need variables. So I'm going to say area and perimeter okay now what we can do is we can ask the user to enter length and width of the rectangle i'm gonna use the c out and i'm gonna say enter the length of the rectangle and uh, after seeing this message the user is gonna enter the length so we will read that by using c in and uh, we will store that in the length variable similarly we can read the width value so I'm going to copy these two statements and paste them in here and then I'm going to change the message. I'm going to say width and then we will read the value and we will store it in the width variable. Okay. So now we have the length and width of the rectangle available. We can calculate the area by using the formula area equal to length multiplied by width. So we will perform length multiplied by width for multiplication we will use the asterisk symbol so this will provide us the area so we will store that in this area variable so area equal to length multiplied by width similarly we can calculate the perimeter of the rectangle so to calculate the perimeter of the rectangle first we have to perform length plus width so i'm gonna do that length plus width and after that, whatever the result that we get, we have to multiply that by two and this will provide us the perimeter value and we will store that in this perimeter variable. Now, why I'm using this parenthesis for performing length plus width is if you don't use it, then it will be length plus width multiplied by two. So here what happens is the multiplication operator has higher precedence so it will be executed first because of that it will be width multiplied by 2 whatever the result that we get for that value length value will be added but that's not the way to calculate the perimeter to calculate the perimeter first we have to perform length plus width whatever the result that we get we have to multiply that result by 2. So what we do is we use the parenthesis to group the code and uh, when we use parenthesis, the parenthesis has higher precedence. In this case, we can say that the parenthesis has higher precedence than the multiplication operator. So whatever that we have written inside the parenthesis will be executed first. So first it will perform length plus width. And after that, whatever the result that we get in here, that will be multiplied by 2. So that's how we get area and the perimeter. Now what we can do is we can display that to the screen. So I'm going to use the C out and I'm going to say area colon 
and then I'm gonna insert the value present in the area variable and after that I'm gonna insert a, a new line character by using end line and similarly we can display the perimeter value so it will be C out we will say perimeter colon we can insert the perimeter value which is present in the perimeter variable and after that you know if you want you can insert the end line but it is not needed okay so now uh, we have written the program we will save it and then we will run this enter the length of the rectangle i'm gonna enter 10 enter the width of the rectangle i'm gonna enter 12 it says area 120 perimeter 44 so this is how we can write the simple C++ program to find out the area and perimeter of a rectangle when we have length and width. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.